Hello, and welcome back, fillies and gentle folks, to a Brony Plays Minecraft. This is Litmus Quest. It's Litmus Quest. You're gonna quest all the things. Alright, so, first of all, I have a new addition to the house. You'll see over here, there's a uh, nice little room. It looks very wonderful. I'm gonna put energy and machines in here. Well, mostly energy. I've already got a redstone dynamo and energy cell right there, and they're hooked up through the floor. You come over here. And downstairs, and downstairs, there you go. And you'll see I've made some more conduits, and uh, yep, they come right over here. So this way, uh, all our energy is going to be in one place. It's not, I'm not sure if it's in the best place or not, but anyways. I also updated the decoration here a little bit more. I need some more sandstone, but I put in this cute little snake. It's really nice. It's pretty good. So, what do we have to do today? Well, Severus is going to leave the game. We've got a couple things to do. I'm going to take you around out here so we can um, see the outside while I explain what we're going to do. You might notice that this is being done in post. There is some reason for that, but we can talk about that later. Today we've got um, some questing to accomplish. I've got some... I, I'd like to start IC2 uh, for some reason, even though I already have all that same stuff uh, set up with thermal expansion. But IC2 is like it's like an old, uh, an old friend, basically. So, and besides, it gets more quests done. And um, we also need to start looking into Ars Magica because that's one of the things I really wanted to do with this mod. And it's been like a long time, an unidentified long time since I've started. And I haven't done anything with it, and that's kind of sad. So yeah, uh, that's our plan. Oh, and I also need to make a new tool. So, um, have, should we do that? Or should I show that off? Um, let's see, where did I put it? Oh yeah, you, I moved those things over. That's why you're looking at that. I moved those over. Um, I filled up the tank with uh, more lava. And um, yeah, we're going to just uh, go to bed and wake up in the morning. Oh yeah. Mmm. Lovely morning time. Lovely. So I was thinking about... I was thinking about stuff, and I said, you know what? I need a rapier. Why do I need a rapier? I need a rapier because rapiers, so I've made this manual and rapier, right? I need rapiers so that I can pierce armor. Now, they don't do tons of damage, but because they have armor piercing, it's uh, it means that all the damage they do should go straight through. Now, I know it only says attack 2.5 hearts, and I'm, I am a little concerned about that. Like, maybe this isn't going to work out that well. Um, but basically, when I'm facing against Chocolate Quest dungeons, I want to be able to fight them effectively. And at this point, I can't fight them very effectively, even with the giant sword, because of their armor. You know, there's a whole bunch of them. My sword swings very slowly. I get a couple of hits in the meantime. There's lag, there's armor, there's all sorts of stuff in the way. So I'm hoping that this guy will help with those dungeons. And there, there is a Triton dungeon we could go back to sometime. So I'm sitting here thinking about what shall I name this rapier? And I, you'll see I've put a couple things up there. Um, but I, I like this FR thing. It's kind of Norse. Friedel. Friedel. That's pretty good. It's writable, so I can put stuff on it. Um, I can add quartz to it. I can add smite to it. All sorts of stuff. Now, quartz isn't as useful as um, on this as it would be on a sword. So that, that's something to consider. We'll see how it goes. Um, I, I thought I might add some quartz, but, you know, I've got all this other stuff to make. You'll see I have that in the chest. And uh, it's just not as good. But I might put it on there, I might not. We'll see. I probably want to put, like, auto repair and, uh, you know, some other stuff on there first. So, that's uh, thing number one. Thing number one. All right, thing number two. We're going to come and uh, start looking at some of these other things. First of all, uh, quests. I fixed up some of the old quests that weren't working too well. Um, I made this a detection task so that you can actually complete it. Otherwise, it will not be completed, and that would suck greatly. So what are we going to get? Well, I think we're going to get those uh, white lamps there. Black dye's good, and redstone's nice, but you get that pretty easily. So I think we're going to get those white lamps. And the white lamps, I don't know where I'll put them. Next up is um, dynamic. Make some dynamos. Magmatic, compression, and reactant dynamos for more energy. Now, I've never actually used them, so I'm not sure what to do with them. But before we go that far, we're going to get to industrializing. 
and we're going to need a generator, a metal former, and a bat box. Because basically, uh, right now, oh yeah, I can put them in here. Right now, I um, have to, any, any IC tube thing I want to craft, I basically have to like do by hand. And this is not going to change that from crafting, but as you'll see, there are certain materials that IC2 needs in the new version. Oh, aren't those lovely? There are certain materials that IC2 needs in the new version, and it's really annoying to craft them by hand, but we're going to fix that. It's that for us, and it's back with us. Yeah. All right. So, what should we do? Well, you'll see that I've got those that hammer and those tin snips in the crafting table. Those are the things I'm talking about. The metal former is going to make those um, stuff I don't actually need. Use is left 72. Okay, hopefully we will have enough. Now, I've set, sorted this out. I think I have enough materials. I uh, did look into this in advance, but I, I might be might be a little off. I right, start with the metal former. Now, the metal former needs circuits, machine casing, toolbox, and coils, which are all quite expensive. Now, this needs these iron plates, right? So, iron plates are made with a hammer, and you hammer them out. Of course, once we have a metal former, we won't need to do that again. Still, we do now, so there we go. Machine casing, done. Uh, next, we're going to need this toolbox. Now, the toolbox needs item casings, and they need to be bronze. Item casings are made from hitting a hammer with, or hitting a plate with a hammer, and you get two of them. So, you only need half as many plates. So I need uh, five bronze, which I've got right here. I'm going to turn those into plates and turn them into item casings. And then combine them with the chests to make the things. Chests, toolbox. Yeah, and they don't stack for some reason. I don't know if the toolboxes are useful for anything outside of crafting. Um, it seems like they should be, but... Uh, next up, we need these coils, which are made of wire and iron. Wire is made from taking a plate and cutting it with a cutter or tin snips wire cutters sort of thing. So we take our copper and uh, we got 12, we're going to make 12 plates. I think that's good. I think that's good. Uh, let's double check. I need three coils. Each coil needs eight. So three times eight is 24. Uh, yeah, okay. So I should be good. Watch this. Da, 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 da. Cut. Okay, time is a little off. Uninsulated copper cable. We put them around the circle. Or a ring, I guess. Hmm. And then one, two, three coils, and oh good, the coil stack. Alright, so we'll put those guys in. Casing, toolbox, toolbox, and circuit. Yeah, first thing done, metal former. We can form metal. Alright. With that, once it's powered, we won't need to be using these uh, hammers and cutters again, which will be very nice. Very nice. Okay, so next we need a generator to power the uh, thingamajigger. There it is. Generator. And the uh, generator has these two recipes. The one recipe is just like a battery turns into a generator. It doesn't make a whole lot of work. I don't know what this is. I don't know. I'll look at that later. Full generator, another star generator, lots of stuff. So we're going to make an iron furnace and we're going to need a rebattery. I'm going to try this recipe down here, this battery to generator. I don't think it's going to do much, but. You need tin item casing and insulated tin cable, which is what I've got right there. So we're going to put that in. Bang, bang, bosh. Excellent. Item casing. Um, I made six. Oh, I only needed four, didn't I? Oh, well. I guess I have extra item casing. Yeah. Okay. I need to make a, um, a piece of wire. And it needs to be insulated, so we'll get... Oh, look at that! We get three wire for it? Ooh, nice. That's very nice. All right. Oh, we got tin cable. Can't cut it up anymore, but we can put um, some rubber on it, and we'll get an insulated tin cable, and there we go. That'll be our battery. Yeah, battery. Redstone. Tin item casing. I had a yawn there. And one re-battery. Let's see, does it work? No, of course not. I don't know why it would. I don't know why that recipe is doing there, but moving on, we're going to need to make ourselves an iron furnace and um, those iron plates. So let's see here. Three iron plates and an iron furnace. Iron furnace is uh, five more iron plates, so I'll need eight iron plates altogether. Luckily, I've got just that. This hammer's going to run out soon. 
that's okay. I'm making, you know, tools to replace it. And I should almost be done with it. Um, I need my... Oh, I forgot my furnace. I forgot my furnace, sorry. Alright. Grab some cobble. No big deal. Oop. Grab another piece. There we go. There we go. Hmm, very good then. Cobblestone around the thing. Yeah, furnace. Iron plate around the cobblestone. Now this is actually pretty good because it used to be that it would take like there there was another version where it took a lot more iron to make iron plate or iron furnaces. Um this one's pretty good, it only takes like five iron, which is quite nice. Quite nice. So I've got our generator, we have the other thing we only need just bat box. Alright. Now, bat box. How do we make a bat box? Any eye, tell us about the bat box. It takes hmm. Wood, another cable, and some more batteries. Oh, do I have enough cable? I should. Hmm. Let's find out. I need wood. I need five planks. There we go. Perfect. We'll put take those five planks. Oh wait, I need the batteries first. Batteries need item casing, so we'll go ahead and bash those up. But um, actually, I don't. How many do I need? I need four per each. Uh, so I need twelve, I think. So I need six. Let's see. That'll make six. That that yeah. There we go. I keep that last one uh, for something else. Probably for wiring. It must be what it's for. Bash it down. Ooh. Almost done with that hammer there. Boom, but up, bump. Move it over. Yeah. And then uh, redstone. And then the wire. Oh, it's got to be insulated. Ah. Okay. Well, I knew I had everything here. I just thought about this. I was slightly more. Oh, wait. I need. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Now we can put the rubber in. One, two, three. Awesome. Now we can make our batteries. All right, we'll try this again. Item casing, item casing on the sides. Redstone in the middle. Tin on the top. Shouldn't work, but it does work because it's all tin, but it shouldn't work. Um, and then, one, two, three, and, uh, oh, crap, I need, I need another piece of rubber. Yep, okay. Uh, let's go find that. Rubber. Rubber. I do not have it here. Rubber. Rubber. For some reason, it's uh, sticky resin. That'll do. How much do I want? One? No. Two? Ten? I don't know. Eight? I'll get eight. Or I'll put them all in. I'll put ten of them in. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Eight. Put eight of them in. Put the rest back. So that when I get an extractor, I can extract things, and it will be great and glorious. And there we go, rubber. All right, exciting times, folks. Exciting times here at Litmus Quest. We're questing very hard. We should be getting our bat box, and we'll get that quest done any minute now. Here we go. Wood along the bottom. Bat box. Bat box. Bat box. Gonna get a bat box. And then we're gonna put them all in here, and put all that stuff away. We have a nice clean inventory. Crescent hammer. I had to build one of those earlier. Don't worry about that. And we should have our quest done. Uh. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Bat box. It says bat box, right? Did I make a bat box? Did I make the right one? I I think so. I don't know. Did I shift click or something? It says zero one. I only need to move one, right? Oh, I'm gonna have to sort that out later. I will have to sort that out. But in the meantime, at least we've got it. Now, where do I want to put it? Since I might as well put it down, right? Oh, there's bunkers making noise. Go away. They're not even the thing making the noise. Creeper, creeper, creeper. Let's try this again. Ow. No. Thank you. <sighs> See, the creeper is taking 19 damage and they're on fire, but that being on fire doesn't like kill them fast enough and then they explode. And it's just annoying. 
Okay, okay, I got the choo choo. Missing some else with a skeleton up there. Oh, whatever. Whatever. He's he's not really popular. Let's hop down this hole. Hatchet. Bat box. Pick up the sand and sandstone. I should go. I really should have enough sand. I should go fix up the uh, basement. Hmm. Oh well. Like my uh, like my zombie heads. They're all over the place. Oh, there's zombie head right in here. Don't go away. It's in their own spot. It's like that's for the creeper heads. If I could ever, you know, get them in any way, that'd be great. Thank you. All right. So uh, let's grab the essence berries. Give some more experience. Essence berries are great for experience. In fact, I think they might actually be a little better than the enchanted versions. I'm not sure. I'm not completely sure. But the essence berries are very nice. All right. Let's go back in. Go back inside and let's set up this um, this IC2 system, shall we? I don't know what's going on with the crafting. That is really weird. Really weird. Where do we want to put the bat box? I kind of want to put it in the floor. Um, I'm not sure. Let's put, we're going to put it right here for now, and we'll probably move it later. But we'll put it right here for the beginning, for the time being. I mean, this is a pretty tall building, so we can always, like, build upward if we need to. Put the metal former down and the generator on top. Oh, nope, 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 gotta do it. That, there you go. Huzzah! And now, um, we should be good. We should be able to put stuff into the metal former. You'll see it has different modes for uh, what it wants to make. Very useful. We have a little bit of a machine to help automate that, help speed that up. Excellent. Um, next... What's next? Let's put some stuff away. Let's uh, look around at our situation. Choo choo jelly. Yep, yep. I haven't done anything with that yet. I think it, it means for dark wrap something, but I'm not sure what. Um. Oh, I need boots. Well, isn't that dandy? I should make fancy boots. Oh yeah, I can make fancy boots. I can make like. Like override or my DCM or serve place. Let's look up some boots. What type of boots can we make? I want, I want good ones. Look at look at how fancy those boots are. Shadow iron boots. Varoxes boots. Calendrite. Serve place. Oh, I use place. Okay, I got some of that. There we go. I don't think I have alderite. I don't think you can craft with alderite. Alderite ingots. That's what I got there. I got alderite ingots. Twenty. Promethium, Enolashite, etc. Very fancy. Sarah Clay's gonna make some boots today. Yeah. Well, don't they look nice? Don't they look nice? Let's go enchant them before I put them on. Fourteen? Sounds good. I'll take it. Ooh, unbreaking two and unstable one. Hmm. Well, unbreaking's good. I mean, I don't know about unstable, but unbreaking sounds good. I thought unstable has something to do with like it explodes once in a while. Like when you fall or when you jump. I don't know. It's not exploding. No? No jumpy. Huh. Right? I don't know exactly what unstable does. If it does explode, I'm not sure if that's gonna be a problem. Maybe you have to like fall from a big height. We'll find out, I'm sure. I'm sure, but for now I got boots and look at that armor rating. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't know what to do about that. So what's next? Um, Hunter's Guild. You'll see I have stuff in here. Very nice. Zombie Slayer. Um, you know, getting there. It's getting there. Need more stuff. Need more stuff. All right, Ars Magica. Oculus and Magician's Workbench. All right, that's what we're going to do. To do that, though... Um, oh, and you know what? I'm also going to do something with these furnaces. Because um, metallurgy adds new furnaces. Now I've used the uh, IC2 iron furnaces, and technically I think they're a little cheaper in terms of iron because um, metallurgy's iron furnaces take eight iron. You'll see how they're made in a moment here. Uh, but we're going to upgrade these to copper furnaces because you know what? Why not? It's, it'll be a little bit better. They'll be nice and brown looking. 
And I think you can upgrade the copper ones to something else first. I think you can upgrade them to bronze. Severus trying to talk to me. Oh, he killed the Walker King. Oh, okay. Well, good for him. Anyways, uh, let's look up furnaces. There we go. There's also Darkcraft furnaces, but I think they need force, and we're not ready to process force yet. Uh, he wants rubber sevens. Yeah, there is a bronze. All right. Hashtag probably, as in that's a command, but uh, it's not. There we go. Fix it. I've got trees. Um, I could get some saplings for them in a little while. All right. So we need bronze. We have some bronze. I thought we made a bunch of bronze. We got eight bronze there. Brass, bronze. All right. One. And uh, actually, yeah, I'll just do two, two box. Two box will be fine. And there we go. A trad. We will do a trad. We will trade with you, Severus. We will trade with you. We will trade with you. There we go. Bronze furnace. All right. Uh, it does take five to upgrade them to iron. We don't have that much iron. Um, and the IC2 ones are a little cheaper anyways in terms of iron. But uh, we'll probably be needing those for other things. And these look pretty cool. Look at that. Bronze furnace. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have that much iron. We have like two iron blocks and a couple iron ingots. It's not the whole lot. Um, and considering how much, like, bronze is not, you know, bronze isn't a big deal, it's not super necessary, we'll be alright. Alright, let's go back to what we were going to do for our quest. Oculus. Okay, we need some stone bricks, coal, blue topaz, and glass. Alright, I think we've got all of that. Well, in fact, the coal's right here. Stone bricks, so, well, glass, I think we have some stone bricks. There we go, six of them. Perfect. And topaz. Topaz, there it is. Topaz. I got topaz. It's good for my toe. It's paz for my toe. You put it down, and then you put the coat, and then you put some bricks. Hey! Oculus! Ars Magica 2. Yeah! Alright, alright! Now we need to make a magician's workbench. Uh, let's actually make that first. Make that, and then we'll go downstairs. Workbench. We're gonna make a magician's 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 workbench. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah magician's workbench. Yeah. Need planks, logs, a uh, carpet. Ugh, there's a lot of stuff here. What do I do about carpet? Carpet's too wool. Uh, I don't have any wool, do I? No, but I've got wood. I've got plenty of wood. Um, in fact, I've got more uh, oak wood right there, and I got slabs. There we go. Um, I need crafting tables. So I'm gonna need two more logs, I guess. There we go. Next. All right, so we'll, we'll um, bum those down. Make a crafted table. We'll do that again. Oh, yeah, we need another one. We need a chest, too. Uh, oh, no, I need another one. Get back here, wood. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to make another crafting table. Logs into planks. Planks into crafting table. Crafting tables in the corners. Chest in the middle. Wood up top. Oak planks on either side. Slabs on either side of the log. And then we just need a carpet. Now, I don't think we have any wool, but we might be able to get around this. We've got Ash Cloud, Essence, uh, but we've got String. Okay, can we do the String into Wool Trick? Let's find out. String, Dark Crafting, no, no. Shape Crafting, yes, there it is. Okay. Good, 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 good. I should have plenty of String. We'll do it over here because I don't want to take everything off the main table. One, two, perfect. And make a carpet. Make a carpet. <laughs> carpet! I got extra carpet. I got extra carpet. Isn't it? Cool. Challenge. Bench. New entry unlocked. I should probably go look at that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put my rubber and string and carpet away. And then uh, go put this stuff down. Now, the Oculus is the thing that you use to buy skill points. Ars Magica skill points. And the workbench is, I think, oh, that's not what I thought it was. Well, either way, we got a thing. Uh, 
Lesser Mana Potion or Infinity Orb. I'm taking the Orb. It's an extra skill point. Ah, uh, yeah. Love that sound. Alright, next up. Ars Fabricus. Mage Armor. Mage Robes. And Ars Incantati. The Art of Incantations. A Crafting Altar. For spells. We will need that next. We, in fact, we will need it imminently as I plan on doing spell casting, and I will need that to do stuff. Um, Hunter Skills. Ah! And that's unlocked other quests, too. That is unlocking magical quests over on the right there. Terra Interfector, Aqua Sicarius, and the others, like killing the various elementals, basically. So, perfect. Gain a blue skill point. What are we going to do with it? Well, we've got Office, Defense, and Utility. Well, I guess we'll start with a little bit of everything, won't we? Projectile? We'll need a projectile. Gravity, physical damage, and bounce. Hmm. Don't know yet. Defense? We'll need self. And utility, touch. We have projectile, self, and touch. Uh, we'll get touch dig. We have one point left. Self heal. Oh, self regeneration. Oh, that'd be good. Leap. Being able to jump. That'd be nice. Gravity. I'm not sure what that does. Bounce. Physical damage. I already can do physical damage. I'm not too worried. You know, maybe I'm not too worried about offense. Dig. Touch dig, I kind of like. Um, and self-regeneration, I kind of like. But um, I need the experience so I can get another skill point. And touch dig is the way to go. So there we go. We've got our magical stuff up and running. Yeah, that's definitely not what I thought it was. I'll have to look into what this is. And uh, the next time... We're going to get some more magical stuff. So, um, I think that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and keep on...